Hey guys, it's Alex. Welcome back. Today I am opening the oldest puzzle in my collection. So if you want to see a 50-year-old Ravensburger jigsaw puzzle, how it looks like, what's special about it, and how it's different from today's puzzles, you are in the right place. The puzzle is simply called Berlin and it has 500 pieces. This is the size of the puzzle and it is part of the worldwide series by Ravensburger. This puzzle series was launched first in 64, but an actual manufacturing year is not written anywhere on the box. On the left side we have the company name written and on the bottom right we have the black Ravensburger logo. On the sides of the box, there isn't a lot of information. We have the puzzle name, the number of pieces, and the product number, and nothing else really, except this made in Western Germany label. The back is clear. I tried to find some information online about the puzzle, but I couldn't find much. So here's what I know. Ravensburger used this corner logo starting with 57. They launched their first puzzles and the Worldwide series in 1964. And this particular product, I searched it by the product number, was made until 1969. So I could narrow down the production date sometimes between 64 and 69. If you know more about this puzzle, please let me know in the comment section. The box didn't have anything else inside besides the puzzle pieces. I really hope there aren't any missing pieces. Fingers crossed. The piece shapes are really different to the ones Ravensburger currently uses. Look at these wavy edges. I had no idea they used to have non-interlocking pieces. I'll give it a try. I'll try to find the edge pieces first, but I can already tell this is going to be tricky. Wish me luck!
Okay guys, I can't believe this. This puzzle is complete. I still cannot believe I paid less than one euro for it. The photo is really nice, the colors are a bit faded, but this could be because of the age of the print. But just look at these cute beetles here. One thing that confused me about this puzzle was this writing here on the side, because on the puzzle box, this is written on the left side and on the actual puzzle it is on the right. I don't know why don't understand. I wonder what this intersection looks like today. Anyone from Berlin around here? Oh, and check this out. Besides the fact that you can pick up and move the entire puzzle, I found these interesting details on the back here and here. Do you think the cardboard was made out of recycled paper or how else could we explain these lonely letters on the back? So this is what I think is my oldest jigsaw puzzle. I made a video about the entire vintage collection that I found on eBay if you want to check it out. Thanks for watching until the end and if you found this interesting subscribe and click the bell because there will be more of this on my channel. Bye for now!